Welcome to Subaru ECU Flash Training Part 27. In this training tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at working with launch control and anti-lag. When we're launching at the drag strip and we want to be able to get good 60 foot, we need to use a launch control so we have repeatable and consistent RPM when we're launching. We're going to learn how to work with the launch control and how to integrate it with the Carberry speed density based ROMs. We're also going to be taking a look at how the anti-lag feature ties into the launch control to help us build boost off the line. We have to use both in order to achieve proper launch. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can take a look at how to work with our launch control. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our launch control feature on a Carberry enhanced speed density ROM on a Subaru 16-bit application. The launch control is something that you may or may not want to use on your Subaru. Launch control gives you the ability to hold your engine at a fixed engine speed and be able to launch it to gain the best acceleration rate from a stop. So this is really drag specific. You might use this in an autocross or a road race car if you're using standing starts in that type of a racing environment, but generally speaking, it is going to be primarily a drag race type feature. Now, the Carberry ROM is going to be taking the launch control and combining it with what a lot of people know as anti-lag, the ability to build boost, we'll find on a stock equivalent Subaru ROM, all of this is lacking for programming and we're going to be left with essentially a really basic two-step, but it's not going to allow you to build much of any boost, and it's really not going to be highly configurable, as we'll find here in a Carberry ROM. We have a variety of different ways we can trigger the launch control. We have a variety of different ways we can work with either a cut for fuel or spark, and the ability to program and try to target more boost. What we're going to do here is program some parameters and take a look at setting this up, testing it, and actually logging it through ROM Raider and then taking a look and analyzing the data in Megalog Viewer so we understand what to do, what we're looking for, if we want to have more or less boost in terms of the programming for the launch control. So first thing I want to do here is take a look at the calibration file that I've opened. The file that we're working with is a Carberry speed density based ROM. We've looked at and worked with this particular ROM in several other training tutorials. In fact, this particular revision that I'm working with that I have saved as cold start came from the cranking post start and warm up enrichment specific tutorial. So uh, we've already taken a look at this. Now at this point, this particular vehicle has been calibrated and tuned. We've dialed in the fuel, the spark, and the boost control before we even attempted to work with the launch control. You don't want to go after the launch control until you set up these other uh, essential parameters, so fuel, spark, and boost. Once you have that dialed in, then you can move into doing your launch control uh, setup and configuration. Definitely one thing you want to note, you don't want to go after this in, in out of order. So let's jump in here. We're going to go into our current round metadata, and I have under here Carberry Launch Control. This is all of the parameters that we need to worry about and potentially configure for this to work right on our vehicle. Now the first thing we want to do here is go into Launch Control Enable. If we click on this, this is already enabled, so we see the enable status. If you want to disable it for any reason, you can use your right close bracket key. That'll change it to a disabled state. So once we flash it, it won't work anymore if you want to turn it off for any reason. Now in this case, we want it to be enabled, so I'm using my right close bracket key to toggle that back to enable. Let's move on to our cut method. The cut method is going to allow us to either use a fuel cut or a spark cut. Now my personal preference, I always try to use spark cut when I'm using a cut for any type of limiter. It is going to be a bit easier on the engine. It also has the ability to generate a bit more boost pressure. Now using a spark cut is more aggressive, so it's going to sound a lot more aggressive than a fuel cut here. The factory Subaru rev limiters are all based on fuel cuts, so this allows you to change it from a fuel cut to a spark cut. If we go and click on our little blue box here, we just simply use our right bracket key. We'll change it now into spark cut mode. Now the next thing here, we have disable not control with active launch control. This is something we want to have in the enabled status. We don't want the knock control detecting false knock when we're on the launch control, and it will do that. So if we set this to an enabled status, which is already toggled on here in default in this particular calibration file, it will automatically disable knock control on the launch control. Now once we launch and once we actually start to move and launch control turns off, it no longer will deactivate the knock control. But we don't want them both activating at the same time because the knock control could potentially kick on, start to reduce a lot of spark timing, start to reduce the engine's power, and when we launch, it could create bogging problems, which is something that definitely can and will happen, which is why we want to have this set to enable status. Let's go ahead and close this. The next thing is going to be our launch control input control. Right now, we can see this is going to be where we have the source to turn on or off our launch control. If we're taking a look here, we have defogger switch as the default option. 
Now, the nice thing with the Subarus is that a lot of the switches in the car can be tied in with the Carberry ROM to a particular feature or function to turn it on or off. Now, in this case, defogger switch will arm it or turn it off. Now, in this case, this particular car does have the... Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.